Uh, the security fabric was designed uh, because of the growing uh, needs to secure data. No? So right now, uh, the growth in terms of data uh, bandwidth is uh, exponential no? from 10 gigs to almost 1 terabit uh, in 8 years time. Okay? So uh, in terms of securing this uh, uh, exponential growth of uh, data, no? it's a big challenge because we all know that uh, security is always an enemy of the, the uh, high throughput. No? It's always the security that is the bottleneck. No? And uh, most of the customers nowadays, they already have their existing security solution. They already have their network infrastructure. What the security fabric does is it collaborates with these different vendors, not only for Fortinet products, but as well as different vendors to have a uh, uh, single uh, management nung mga network devices natin and to uh, to secure all parts of the network. So basically, uh, those large enterprises such as the financial institution, the uh, large enterprise, the telco markets, you know, those uh, industries that already have these um, existing network infrastructure as well as different security solutions products. So, uh, they, they will be the one to benefit with uh, Fortinet Security Fabric. But uh, just to mind you, no, yung attacks no, uh, cannot be limited to or cannot be just targeted to large enterprise. No? Uh, there is no excuse na I'm on the small uh, network or I'm on the small company, hindi naman siguro ko atakihin. No? That, that's not an excuse. So basically, um, all networks that already has this infrastructure in place that all uh, that they want to have the investment protection uh, can benefit from the Fortinet security fabric. Alam naman natin ano, na we cannot undermine Philippines. No? We are one of the uh, top social networking users. No? We, are, we used to be the texting capital of uh, the world. No? And uh, more and more uh, smartphones are uh, being sold in the Philippine market. No? So, more and more Filipinos are getting connected to the internet, not only on social media, but as well as uh, um, digital communications. No? Kasi nga, marami yung percentage ng uh, population natin are overseas contract workers. No? They communicate via the internet. No? So, that's why it is very important no, that um, we, all, we all be uh, conscious no, when using the internet, no, you need to 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 have uh, personal information. No, bago ka makapagcreate ng mga ganitong accounts, and uh, this is where the network security uh, takes part. No, to secure this personal identifiable information. No, to protect you from um, uh, identity theft or uh, from using your uh, information uh, for further attacks or for for stealing. Uh, like for example, your financial uh, accounts, no, mga on, uh, if you're using online banking, no, uh, this uh, security solution can uh, help us uh, protect ourselves, no. So for example, if the asset that I want to protect costs a million pesos, hundred million pesos, I think it's okay to spend a million pesos to protect this asset, no. They need to to weigh, no, in between. Uh, how much is the, the the asset that they want to protect? Not only the cost, but as well as the implications. No, when they get hacked, ano? Ano ba yung mga implications na yun? These are the uh, uh, company reputation. So if it will damage the company reputation, even if the cost is very small, no, it will jeopardize the future of the company if it damages the reputation. No, so yun yung mga pinakamalaking uh, factor for them to decide. No if they are going to protect their network or they, they will let it uh, as is no status quo wala hindi ako bibili ng protection hayaan mo siyang mahak no? so that's it